so what I did first is I painted a base coat um, and I didn't buy anything for this project I basically just used the craft things that I had in my house the paint I'm using is fabric paint I'm pretty sure you can use acrylic paint too but just check your sources because I'm not 100% on that and I'm just making it like a sky in the background and almost giving it an uh, ombre type of effect from light to dark. Now, if you're planning to paint your point shoes with fabric paints, just a warning, it takes a lot of paint. The shoes really absorb the paint. So I also tried to water it down so it didn't take as much. wondering why am I just decorating my point shoes. Rishko had a contest called Decorate Your Dream where you had to decorate an old pair of point shoes and they chose their five favorite pairs and I actually won. If you want to see more pictures of the end result make sure to check out my Instagram in the description and subscribe if you want to see when I get my package and the unboxing. So these shoes are inspired by a recent photo shoot that I did. I basically just used a cheap brush for this because it has harder bristles so it almost has that more cloud effect so this took me quite a while because I had to keep going back and perfecting the clouds now what I'm doing here is I'm just sketching on the other shoe how the clouds are gonna meet up because when the shoes are together I wanted to make one picture The next thing I did is I decided to darn my point shoes but with beads. 
Now here I'm just painting the bottom of the point shoes and I just painted over the dirt marks so it has a neater finish at the end. And this is the end result. The story behind these point shoes is actually how I wanted to show my growth as a dancer. So I chose a few pictures from when I was very young till now. I asked my mom to help me put these pictures in Photoshop and basically just crop them so they're smaller and they fit on the shoe. This took a few test trials but we got it eventually. I just used Mod Podge and apply a base layer and then put the picture on top and apply about two layers of Mod Podge. And as you can see now, it's like the big me reaching towards the little me. I'm just removing the ribbons so that I can paint them without messing on the drawstring part because I want to keep that the same color and also so I don't permanently sew them on in the next step. So I thought these crystals looked like little stars and I basically want them to represent how one day I want to become a star. And I basically sewed them on one by one. I also, for the box part, I used like really fast drying glue because I couldn't get the needle through the box. And I also broke needle in the process trying. Here, I'm just putting a few beads on a little bit of thread, almost making like a necklace. And then after that, I just sew them on so it makes almost like a little crown. Here I'm just applying a bit of water to make the ribbons wetter and this just helps so I can make a nice ombre effect from light to dark blue. I also made sure to really water down my paint so that it spreads nicely and evenly and has a good ombre effect. Here I just traced the sole of my shoe and used white paint 
I would normally use a toothbrush, but I just used a paintbrush instead to flick it onto the black paper. And this also creates a kind of star effect. Then I just used some Mod Podge and applied it on my original sole of my shoe and you just use that to stick the new sole that I made to the shoe. And this is the final product. I'm so happy with how this turned out and I'm so grateful that I won the contest. If you want to see more about these shoes and the story behind them, make sure to check the description box below and make sure to follow my Instagram so you can see the posts as well. I really enjoyed this project. It was so much fun and such a fun creative outlet for this boring time. Thanks for watching and comment what you think about the shoes below. Bye!